Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the carousel moving effect in Microsoft PowerPoint using the morph transition and some applications of the hyperlink function. In this video, you can expect to learn how to create this kind of animation to make your presentations more engaging and interactive. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to open your Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's start by creating a blank presentation. Click on the View tab and locate the Slide Master option. Our goal here is to add image placeholders that will allow us to easily insert photos later, maintaining the same size and alignment. Click on Insert Placeholder and choose Picture. Drag the placeholder to your desired size and adjust it according to your preference. After that, align the picture placeholder at the center of the slide. Now, copy and paste the image placeholder. Repeat the process according to the number of pictures you want to include in. In this tutorial, I'll be using 7 images. Ensure that they are properly aligned and evenly spaced. Now close the slide master view. Moving on, go to the home tab and click on layout. Choose the layout we just created. To add pictures, simply click on the image placeholder and select the photo of your choice. So I'll be adding here a photos of burger, coke, let's say this one fries. Let's add this macaron, pizza, donut. And lastly, the smoothies. After selecting the images, we can proceed to add rectangular shapes of the same size as the photos. These shapes will serve as our guides when moving the photos. Once this step is completed, we will move the shapes upwards. These shapes are intended solely as guides. One by one, move the shapes as the photos become perfectly aligned and evenly spaced. I believe these 5 rectangular shapes are sufficient given our focus is solely on the inside of the slide. Following this, group the rectangular shapes into one. Now that we are prepared, we can apply a black and white effect to all the photos. Begin with the first photo which should be positioned in the center. In this case, it's the burger image. For this initial photo, remove the filter to restore the original color. Once duplicated, proceed to move all the pictures to the left. While doing this, ensure the proper alignment with the guides we created earlier. After achieving proper alignment, reapply the black and white filter to the photo that was previously centered in the last slide and this time remove the applied filter from the photo that is centered in this slide. Next, apply the original filter to the subsequent photo. Continue repeating this process of moving and selecting filters as we progress to the next slides. The underlying logic here is that the photo at the center of the slide retains its color effect while those not centered utilize the black and white filter. Just continue this process until we reach the last photo. After setting up the images, we can now delete the guides we added earlier. Now it's time to add this ellipse shape by inserting a circle shape and follow this process. Next, we will remove the shape outline and change the color into white. Copy this and paste it below. This will serve as an effect to achieve a panoramic effect for the photos and create a curved ellipse effect for the images. Once accomplished, we can copy and paste that onto the next slides. Now let's take a look at the progress we've made in this tutorial. As you can see, we have successfully achieved the panoramic effect for the photos. 
The next step is to apply the morph transition to all the slides. Make sure to apply this transition to all slides with a timing of 1.25 seconds or adjust according to your preference. This is how it should look and as you can observe, we have now achieved a carousel effect for these images. Now it's time to add some additional designs for the slides. For example, I just added here the text for our menu and the name for the menu. For example, this one, burger. And we will just change the text for the next slides. Now it's time to add clickable buttons that allow us to navigate between slides under the insert tab, locate and click on the icons, search for arrows, select the appropriate arrow icon and insert it onto the slide. Now adjust its position accordingly. Next is to apply the hyperlink function to these icons. Right click on each arrow then click link. Ensure you choose the place in this document. For the left arrow, select previous slide. And for the right facing arrow, apply the hyperlink function to navigate to the next slide. Now we will simply copy these arrow icons to the next slide. By doing this, we can avoid applying the hyperlink function again and save time. And here is the progress so far for this tutorial. Once I click this arrow icon facing right, it will go to the next image. And once we click this arrow icon that is facing left, it will go to the previous image. Now let's add additional information for specific images. To achieve this, duplicate the slide containing the image you want to add information about. Place the duplicate slide right after the last image in the carousel. Adjust the position of the ellipse shape, move one upwards and the other downwards. Now delete all photos except for the burger image since this is the one we were going to add information about and then we'll make it bigger. After that, we can now insert the desired text. Now return to the original carousel slide where the photo was located. Now apply a hyperlink function that jumps to the slide 8. Just right click this image, select link, choose place in this document, and click the slide with the information. Upon clicking the image, it will navigate to the information slide. But the problem here is that we don't have the option to go back to the carousel slide. However, to return to the carousel slide effect, we need to add an arrow icon. Insert the arrow icon and position it accordingly. Now apply a hyperlink function to this icon, linking it back to slide 1. This will enable clicking on the arrow icon to return to the carousel slide effect. And as you can see, once I click this image, it will go to that information. And once I click this arrow icon, it will go back to the carousel slide effect. Now it's time to add additional information for other images. Repeat the process of duplicating the slide and moving it directly downwards right after the carousel images. And then move this ellipse downwards and upwards. And remove the images that is not related. And remain the image of Coke since this is the photo that we want to add information about and make it bigger. Position it accordingly in the slide. And then add the text and the arrow of course and go back to the slide where it, the photo is originally located and apply hyperlink to the information slide which is the slide 9 and go back to the slide 9 click the arrow and apply hyperlink function to go back to slide 2 where the photo is originally located and here is the progress so far for the two images that we added information as you can see it is working fine and once i click this coke image it will go to that information about the coke and it's time to add some additional information for the next photo for the fries 
if you're wondering why we did not delete these ellipse shapes and instead move them upwards and downwards, it is because this action adds a dynamic and panoramic animation effect when transitioning from the carousel effect slide to the information slide. Take a moment to observe what's happening here, pay attention to the movement of the ellipse shapes as we navigate, they smoothly morph from slide to slide. This seamless transition is thanks to the morph transition. If you're interested in learning the basics of the morph transition, I have prepared a detailed tutorial for you. You can find the video link in the description. Now just repeat the process of adjusting the images and by adding the text and the arrow icon and go back to our slide 3 which contains the original photo and apply the hyperlink function to slide number 10 which contains the information about the fries and go back to the slide 10 and add a hyperlink function that will go back to the slide number 3 which contains the original photo location of the fries and here is the progress for that once I click this it go to the fries information and with that you can just repeat the process until you reach the last slide or the last images and fast forwarding this tutorial i already finished setting up the information and for this smoothie the icon the arrow icon it will go back to slide 7 once i click that which is here and for this macaron once i click this icon it will go back to the carousel effect where the macaron photo is at the center and here's the final output for this tutorial which is the carousel effect animation in Microsoft PowerPoint using the morph transition and the hyperlink function. And that's basically it. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you have some questions, clarifications, just comment down below. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.